in virtually every version of Rumpelstiltskin, you see that the father is the one boasting that is creating the debt. Now, here's the first lesson that I think very few people understand about how debt starts with young people. And it's incredibly subtle lesson, but I think that where debt often starts, real debt, crushing debt, things like student loans, for example, often start because a parent actually is boasting about what they want for their child. So when I actually have conversations with, with parents or I talk to people that have incredible amounts of debt, oftentimes they will lament. I've had these conversations many times about the fact that their parents were the ones who encouraged them, ironically, encouraged them to actually take out the debt. And if you ask yourself, that's really weird. Like, how did they not know that this was going to be a disaster? How did they not know that, you know, taking out $100,000 in student loans was probably not a great idea? And I think the answer to that question is actually unveiled in this story. I think the answer is there was something they were actually getting out of it. Their reputation was on the line. And so what happens with this father is in order to boost his reputation, he makes this claim about his daughter that forces her into debt. This is the repeated pattern of countless thousands of people that I know that get into debt. Their parents desperately want them to go to a really good school. They want them to get started in life, but they don't have the money to help them. And so in order for them to feel like a good parent, they need to launch their child out into some kind of place where they could boast about, you know, it's amazing. You want to know where your, where did your child go to school? My child's going to this school. That, that is a, that is a pattern that is so uh, consistently happening in our culture today. And it is driving so many of these young people to debt. Cause you can imagine the opposite happening. Why aren't the fathers in particular, the first ones to warn their children about, Hey, there is this thing called debt that is incredibly dangerous. You want to be careful. It, it looks really enticing at first. It's the easy way out, but you will probably get trapped. Why aren't fathers saying that to their children? Why is it that when you go to uh, kids graduating from high school, that there's not a legion of fathers warning their children about the dangers of debt? And I think that the answer to the question of why that's not happening is actually really dark. And, and we don't like to talk about it. And we don't like to face it. But the, the father's own reputation is on the line. And that's why I think he subtly, I think this is subtle. I don't think that fathers are actually calculating this thing. I want to throw my kid under the bus so that I can look good. This is what's so powerful about fairy tales. They unveil hidden motivations that are the, the root causes of so many of the problems that we face. And so what this fairy tale begins with is the root cause of the problems is actually in, in the reputation management of the, of the parent. So I think that's really important initial symbol. We're going to look at there's many, many more symbols in the story that get unlocked as we go farther into the story.